Now, recall our frog jumping, our little fella. And the next day we were like, wow, this is this was so cool. Song the frog jump from lily pad to lily pad. Now we're going to bring our own frog. And we brought our own frog. And there were three lily pads again. However, this time there were also some flies. And of course our frog is hungry and wanting to eat some flies. So we held we hold our frog to lily pads and we just see to which lily pad he jumps. And we do this multiple times. And we also see that at some lily pads he eats some flies and at some he doesn't. And we are actually interested in can we construct a Markov chain of this behavior? Because we just observe some things that are difficult to uh, calculate with. And this is what hidden Markov change, uh, hidden Markov chains actually uh, incorporate. So let's draw our known Markov chain again. So we have lily pad one, lily pad two, and lily pad three with our known probabilities of 0 0.6 of one the frog jumping to lily pad two from three was 0 0.2 here it was a 0 0.4 and back again of 0 0.8 however we're also interested in if our frog eats or not so we construct two hidden nodes called eat and no eat and we see that at lily pad 1, it actually eats 40% of the time and it does not eat at 0 0.6 of the time, 60%. If it's at lily pad 3, it eats all the time. And if it's at uh, um, lily pad 3, it never not eats. On lily pad 2, it never eats. And then we also have to draw an edge to eat, which it never does on lily pad 2, which is a probability of 0. And because we held out our hand and the frog could jump to any lily pad it wanted, we do not have a initial distribution that was very straightforward as in the last one. Actually, right now we have a initial distribution of 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and 0 0.1 saying that there's a 40% chance or 0 0.4 probability that the frog jumps from our hand to lily pad 1 0 0.5 to lily pad 2 or a 0 0.1 probability of jumping to lily pad 3 now we can kind of ask the same thing however right now we're asking what the probability is of the next sequence jumping from lily pad 1 to lily pad 2 to lily pad 1 again and this brings some troubles with us because there are some hidden nodes there are some hidden units in our Markov chain to calculate this we do the following if we go from lily pad 1 to 2 to 1 we have those probabilities, of course. So let's write down those first. Go from uh, uh, from lily pad, starting at lily pad one is 0 0.4 for our, in our initial distribution. Wait, let's do this all in another color. 0 0.4 for starting out. Then there's a probability of 0 0.6 of jumping to lily pad two. And a probability of one of jumping back to lily pad one. However, at each transition, there is, of course, a probability of each hidden node. Let's look at the first one. We have a probability of eat, then it goes to lily pad 2, for not eat, and then eat again. Actually, there are in total of eight different probabilities from going from eat, 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 to not eat, not eat, not eat. However, since we multiply all probabilities and in state 2 it can never eat, 
um, we will not write those down because those will be zero anyway. So we get eat, not eat, eat. We get eat, not eat, not eat. We get not eat, not eat, eat. And of course, not eat, not eat, not eat. I want to know all these probabilities. And for all these probabilities, the first ones are the same because this is just a state transition going from state one or starting in state one, going to state two and going back to state one again. Now, we're going to look at state one when he is eating. When he's eating in state one, it has a probability of 0 0.4. So we multiply with 0 0.4. Then not eating in state 2, which has a probability of 1. And eating again in state uh, on lily pad 1 is 0 0.4 again. We do the same thing for eating, not eating, not eating. Here, 0 0.4, 1. And now for not eating in state on lily pad 1, we see as a probability of 0 0.6. Repeat that for our other calculations as well. Filling in everything. And now it's back to calculating. And this is just for the transition of starting in Lillipad 1, then to Lillipad 2, and then to Lillipad 1 again. The first one is 0 0.0384. This one is 0 0.0576. This one is 0 0.0576 as well. And the last one is 0 0.0864. And these probabilities we all have to add up because they are different outcomes if we look at the observable states, but the states that are not hidden, not the observable ones, um, are still the same. It's still Lillipad 1, Lillipad 2, Lillipad 1. So we add these values and we get to a value of 0 0.24, which is good. Yay, we have the probability of our frog going from state 1, uh, starting at Lillipad 1, going to Lillipad 2 and going back to Lillipad 1 again, with a probability of 0 0.24. Such hidden Markov change, um, as you can see, is all our arrows out of a state needs to add up to one if it goes to another state. And all the arrows going to hidden units also all need to add up to one. So if you just look at a state and all the arrows going out of it, it actually adds up to two in this case. Adding up to one for all the, uh, for all the uh, non-hidden states and adding up to one for all the hidden states. It is possible to construct a Markov chain that is uh, that has no hidden units. So let's do that. We have to create new states. Lillipad one could have an eat, and Lillipad one could have a not eat. Lillipad two eat not eat, and Lillipad three eat and not eat. However, Lillipet, on Lillipet 3 he never not eats, so we do not actually have to write this down because that probability was zero. The same is for uh, same is for Lillipet 2 where he never eats. So we actually only have four states in this case. And we can um, ignore these because we saw there was a probability of zero here and a probability of zero here. So we get these four nodes. Let's write them down. We get one E here. Let's write three E here. Down here we get two N and one N here. Now the question is, what are our probabilities then of our new uh, Markov chain? Well, we could go from Lillipad 1 to Lillipad 2. That was no problem. Going from Lillipad 1 to Lillipad 2 was a probability of 0 0.6. 
And because it has probability of 0 0.6, we have to multiply this with the probability that Lillipad 2 does not eat. Lillipad 2 does not eat, had a probability of 1, so this probability will also be 0 0.6. The probability of going from Lillipad 2 to Lillipad 1 was a 1. However, we have right now also have to consider the probability that Lillipad 1 has a 0 0.4 probability of eating. So we have to multiply these probabilities. So that's why we get a different probability here, namely 0 0.4. Because this is probability of going from 1 to 2 and that one is eating. These are multiplied together. One multiplied with 0 0.4. Then we get from 1 to 3. Well, this is still the same because eating in Lillipad 3 is also a 1. But going back, this was again probability of going from uh, 3 to 1, was, this was actually uh, from 2 to 1, not 1 to 2. We're going from 3 to 1 and we multiply it with uh, at Lillipad 1 and it is eating. So we get 0 0.8 multiplied with 0 0.4, which is 0 0.32. We do the same thing for going from to not eat to one not eat and we see that going one side and going from one not eat to the other is 0 0.6 the same and going back we actually have to multiply again to 0 0.6 because the probability of not eating in Lillipad 1 was 0 0.6 and then from Lillipad 3 to live at 1 and 1 to 3 again. Well, 1 to 3 is still the same, still 0 0.4, and going from Lillipad 3 to Lillipad 1, still not eating or going to not eating. Going from Lillipad 3 to Lillipad 1 was 0 0.8, but the probability of not eating was 0 0.6, so we get to a probability of 0 0.48. And this is how we construct the new Markov chain without the hidden nodes. We also need to adjust our initial distribution. Our distribution in the old made, uh, Markov chain was 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and 0 0.1. Right now we need a different one. And you note that we have tilled above the pi. We need one for each state. We need one for 1e, one e, we need one more for 1n, we need one for 2n, and one for 3e. Now, well, luckily, 2n and 3e, they stay the same because there's only one hidden state connected to them. They are not split up. However, our little pet one has been split up. So our 0 0.4 value needs to be multiplied with the values for eat and not eat. For eating, it was 0 0.4 as well, so we do 0 0.4 times 0 0.4, which results in 0 0.16. And for the second one, we get 0 0.4 times 0 0.6, which is 0 0.24. So this is our new initial distribution for our Markov chain. And if you right now want to calculate what the probability is from row x0, uh, x1, x2, that it is um, 1, 2, 1. The 1s can be 1e e or 1n. And calculating this probability is the same as done in the last video with the table or the matrices multiplication because you can also make a matrix out of this one again or just writing down each transition possible. And this is how hidden units work in Markov chains. We can use a Markov chain with hidden units or you can just reconstruct a Markov chain to leave out the hidden units and just make new nodes, new states for every new prob uh, possibility. But then you also have to change your transition probabilities and your initial distribution.